Yep. Nice. At the speed of sound. Bright lights, colors all around. I'm running wild, very fast and free. Got no regrets inside me. Not looking back, not giving up, not letting go. I'll keep on running. I'm gonna reach for the stars, although they would pay far. I'm gonna find my own way and take a chance on today. <laughs> The sky was done so bright, the colors feel so high. I never felt like this. I'll keep on running. The sky was done so bright, the colors feel so high. Just take my hand, we're gonna reach for the stars tonight. Tonight. Yep, that is right. After like five months, we are finally bringing the blue blur back to to you to my YouTube, and what better way would um, other than Sonic Colors Ultimate? Now I still have the Wii version for it somewhere. I'm I, I have to find it, but um yeah. How's it going, everyone? It's me, and today we are here with part one of Sonic Colors Ultimate. So we're gonna start a new game. Yeah, I did play a little bit of this game, but yeah. So we're just gonna turn the navigator off since since I played the Wii version for this game like back when I was a freshman in high school. But um, but yeah, it was one of my favorite games as a, as a freshman, and and still holds up to me to this day. Mm. The drink I'm drinking, yeah, I'm, I'm drinking Prime for this bit. I'm drinking Prime for this video, and you know why I got a blue? Well, you'll find out a little bit in, later into this bit. So, you hit A to dash. You know, it feels really nice coming back to this game after... I mean, I, I'll admit it's only been like a year since I played it, but... Yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, as a kid, this... Well, not as a kid, but like, as again, as a freshman in high school, this was... This, Call of Duty, and um, Mario Super Sluggers were one of my favorite games. <laughs> Boom. And my brother actually got... My brother was the one who got me the Wii version for um, my 15th birthday, so you can thank him for that. Yeah. So Carson, buddy, if you're if you're watching this, just thank you for that. Thank you for that. So, so Act One is really just nothing special. And good. Ah, you know, with that on the Wii version was usually A, but to be fair, I think that was just because I was playing with the nunchuck with it. <laughs> and you can even see Earth from here, which is pretty nice. Alright. Good. Great. Awesome. Outstanding. Nice. We actually we got we got second time. Let's see if ah missed the red ring. Let's see. I don't know. With Sonic games, the red ring, the red star rings, I'm not really that concerned about because at the end of the day, they're just it's just Super Sonic at the end of the day, and I don't like you're really unlocking anything really special. So that's why I'm I'll get the red rings that I, that I can get, but like I'm it's not my top priority if that makes sense. Anyway. Obviously, next up is Act 2. Alright. But you can tell a lot of detail definitely went into this. Like, I don't know. Sonic definitely looks... I feel like most of this... This is definitely more detailed than the Wii version. I don't know. Alright. Boom, boom. Yeah, like, with Ultimate, like I said, I only... I Like, you, the reason why I saw the Continue button on it is because... 
and because I only played the last level and this level, I didn't play I didn't play anything beyond that. See what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get this red one because it's at least easy for me to get. Yeah. Boom. I mean I don't want to just leave. Well, okay, here's a way I can I can I could get it. <laughs> I like how it makes that sound effect. There we go. Yeah, I don't understand how that's the second ring, but oh well. Boom, boom. Alright. Yeah. And you definitely see a lot in this game. And like, here, I, I, this I remember. See, whenever I played this with my youngest sister, I, we used to call this part the Tiki Tongue. She probably doesn't remember that, but, but I do. Because she sometimes did whenever we played this game together, but, but like, most of the time it was me that called it the Tiki Tongue. Man, definitely, definitely good memories. Let's see if we can get this one, too. So that's the fourth wing. Alright. Boom, boom. And the robots look, and the robots, and, like, the egg ponds, I believe they're called, also look really... Is that definitely like, definitely HD to say the least. Oh. Ah, no, there was a red star ring right there. But no matter, we still be still got a B rank, which not bad. Oh, and here's our first cutscene. Yes, it is. Maybe one of their brother is gonna want to come here. Yeah, Eggman really. I'll give Eggman this. He really knows how to build an amusement park. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. <laughs> you can say that again. True, it would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Well, if we know Eggman, he's definitely he's definitely hiding something. Wow. Plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. I know, right? This place is taking beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Was it? Oh, or are you just saying I that? I wouldn't say it was that easy. <laughs> Hello, happy people. Buckle up and get that ultra-accelerating space elevator. Okay, I can move this on a little bit. So, hold on. It does? Like, how would... Has it? I mean... Hmm. Sure, it's not Egghead. But, yeah. So, basically, Eggman's Interplanetary Amusement Park is basically the Disneyland of Sonic. Alright. So, there's Orbot and Cubot. Ooh. <laughs> I feel you, Orbot. Sure sure what, what you got, Sonic? Hey. You know how I said I, I chose Blue Prime while while I was out? That that laser was is why. Hmm. Right. All right. So. So anyway, what I was gonna, about to say is that how did Eggman even get the money for all of this? Is my question. 
Like, I, I know it's just a game, game, but you really have to wonder. Like, like how did Eggman have the money for, one, to build an entrance the way he did? And, like, like how did he even get all the permits for it? Or how would he have? And also, because of the fact that... Like, how would we, he have all the money for to build all this? I don't know, just kind of speculation. But anyway, we got Act, we got act 3 to play. Well, the acts in this game definitely take a long time to load, for some reason. Not really sure why. Oh, I accidentally ran my own, broke my own running streak. This is what we're going to use for this video. And there's a new... Well, you'll see it in a little bit. So, so you got you use you. There we go. Yeah, that's how you. That's pretty much how you use the, the laser wisp. Just in the right button. Well, well, I guess that's. Okay, why is the slide? I'm uh, sorry. Just the Wii controls in the, and on the switch on here is are very different with this game. So, boom, boom, boom. Come on. So, let's see if we can get all the. Well, we didn't. I think we only got like one of those. Kind of sucks, but what you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. Boom. 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 I mean. I swear, these robots are getting easier to destroy, to be honest. Okay, I'm, I'm completely full on boosts. Come on, on Sonic, don't, don't do, do me dirty like this. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. We go. See, what are these weird tail tails balloons? Like, I have one of them, I just don't, don't really care what they are. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no, sh no shit, Sherlock. But yeah. <laughs> you need to see the welcome resort sign. See, they definitely call this tropical resort for a reason. I will give them that. I'm really liking this groovy music. And... See, if I would've had a laser was, we probably would've been through this one. But I don't know. Just because, like, I'm saying this because of these things right here. B and Y. I like how it even warns you that that's a death spot. See, I'm trying to get this laser list, but do I maybe need these stairs now? There we go. Boom. Whee! Though, though I kind of wonder, I, I forget this, but does it let you keep the, the list before? Oh, we got an A on this act, it seems. So we got one of these coins. Hmm. Think we might be getting another cutscene. I'm not sure though. Oh. Never mind. Um, you have collected enough park up tokens to unlock customization for Sonic. Alright, so. 
before we go go any further, I, I want to I want to see what this is about. I kind of want to see what this is about. It says here I can. Do I want to give them Jade Glow? I don't know. Okay. Um, I kind of want to give him. We'll mess with the shoes in a little bit. Let's give him cyan. Let's give him cyan gloves. Because I think. Though, how do you equip them? Let's see how, how you equip one of these. Thank you, Tails. There we go. Yeah, I just wanted to see what that hubble was about. So now Sonic... Hmm. Ooh. Okay, I really like this mix. So how does so how do you guys think Sonic look, looks in these in these cyan gloves? And I do remember that I remember this act. This is in a way kind of like a mini game. If that's all right, so we got that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we even got it confused. So fifth ring. Oh we got whatever that is. And that's how you and that's how you clear out four basically. But out of the remixes in this one, this out of the remixes in, in this game so far, this one definitely has the that last act definitely had the best one. Anyway, we got another cutscene going on. Mm -hmm. See, I never really knew knew Yakker's gender. I always thought I always thought they were pretty gender fluid, to be honest. I saw. I've used I've used it like I think twice so far. I don't. Exactly. Yeah, I mean they don't call you the blue blur for nothing. I mean speaking of which, I'm even wearing your shirt for this video. Yeah, that should tell you how I'm excited. Like I'm wearing your shirt, I'm drinking blue prime, and I'm playing Sonic Colors. So I mean this should tell you how excited I'm, I'm, I am to bring the blue blur back to my channel, video game wise. And and this is where you get this new wisp, the ghost wisp. I kind of want to get a, a flush of this one, to be honest. Because I know they, they have them at my, at my local Target, but... Yeah. Why the... Why, what is with the axe of this game taking so long? But, let's see. Hmm. Nice. Let's see. This is ghost work. Okay, so we're gonna need the laser list for. Oh. Alright. Oh! Okay, I did not mean to do that. I don't even know what I did. I don't even know what happened. There we go. See, that's what I wanna see. See, I can get there without walking. No sweat. Boom. Boom, boom. 
so... Okay. Damn it. Well, maybe we can get there without it. Okay, when do you use the Ghost Wisp? In the... Alright, so we got... Oh! Okay, this is what I was talking about. I don't really get... Okay. I don't really understand this wisp. You can't really go anywhere, I mean... Oh! Okay. I think I see what this does. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get the gist of this one. Somehow there's an invisible wall here. Okay, so how do I get out of this? I think I see it. No. Oh, I thought I did. Good, good. Oh. Yes, this is a way to clear it. That ghost was will definitely get me this will definitely get me take me some getting used to. Alright, so. <sighs> See, it's seven to custom. I'm, I really want to wear the jade. The jade, um. Whatchamacallit. Ah, uh, Jesus, I can't think of the name. Yeah. So now it's time for Act 6. But I'm saying I want to wear the jade um, shoes, like, cause I don't know. I I feel like Sonic would, would look really good in them. Would look really well. Hey, at least that's that's the first time we died in this whole playthrough. Because normally with some of my playthroughs, I'd be dead like within like the second level, or level six. So it's definitely a vast improvement. Boom, boom. My body's looking destroyed. So. How did we destroy 50 enemies in the span of like 20 minutes? So we got uh, four of these tailgate. That's two rings. Oh, and we actually. Well, we actually got them in order this time. But I mean, I guess less than one. I'm guessing you probably want to get it like that and then jump up like this. That's the only explanation I got. So let's see if this is the third one. So that's three. Boom, boom. Alright. And I already hear the act clearing. Come on. You a little butt wipe. Okay. Okay, I think I I think I know how to get this ring. Ah, okay, almost, damn it, I almost had it, except I screwed up that last part. Now, well, we got all but the fourth wing, which, it's definitely better than what we've been doing. I mean, we've, at most we've been getting like two of these, we've been getting like two out of the five rings, and this one got four out of the five. It's not, so, in hindsight, not too shabby. So let's see. See, how would you get this one? Is my. There we go. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, see, I only got D rank on that because I kind of screwed it up the last time, the last part of it, of when I was trying to get that, the fifth ring. But, but, yeah. And now, my friends. We finally, we got our first boss to complete. That scene. I don't think cheeseburgers run at all, buddy. I'm sorry, I just, I love Cubot. 
See, Corbin and Cubar weren't my favorite characters in, in most Sonic games, but this game they rock it. <laughs> Which is, I especially love Cubot in this game. Sorry. You sure about that, Egghead? I think he will. Because I remember this boss pretty fondly. From... Oh. I remember... I remember playing you. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, again, I love... Alright. Anyway, the way... This is... Our first boss of the game, which is... I don't know what to call it, other than a, a Ferris wheel. Because it, it, it reminds me very much of a Ferris wheel. So, basically this Ferris wheel boss is... Nothing... Here's a little interesting trick I learned from one of my friends playing this. You want to get up to his arm. Um, I think you would want to do it now. And this is how you... Yeah. Oh, his name's Rotatron. Yeah, but yeah. Um, one of my friends showed me showed me this trick when when I was playing this game at, at his house. But um, yeah. But yeah, I thought I'd, I thought I'd show that off. Yeah. So yeah, it's the easiest boss in the game. But all I got is this tropical resort T-shirt. Wait, you can actually put shirts on Sonic? Nice. Get a little shopping, grab the bike to eat, and trash the giant killer robot. Cool. I remember. Yeah, again, it's like the it's like the Disneyland of Sonic. I think it's a binary code, so only I can see. Um Okay, ask away. Who are you and what is happening to your people? Oh, Yakker's a- Yakker is a dude? Hmm. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think the same thing. I think it's the former. Got a second cutscene. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to, but uh, just, yeah, I can see where I see something like that. Just ugh. <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Eggman's kind of a complicated guy, but yeah, what I was saying. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh I remember that. I remember this. Um, like the arm got stuck in that. Yeah, I, I remember this now. But anyway, what I was saying was that what I was about to say, like when I was about to battle um Rotatron, is that Orma and Cubot weren't always weren't my favorite characters um in most Sonic games because I mean, oh, we got a couple new areas. 
But yeah, Orbor and Cubot weren't always my favorite characters in Sonic. I mean, but at the end, because they were always one of those, they were just kind of more of the, um, like just the boss's henchmen. But in this game, they absolutely nail their role. <laughs> I mean, they they are like the funniest thing. They are like the funniest characters. And they're probably my my favorite characters in this game, to be honest. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this awesome episode. I I had a ton of fun coming back to this game. But yeah, um, be sure to follow me on Twitter for um for my hand drawings, Instagram for video updates, DeviantArt for digital stuff, Smeal for my singing, and Twitch for my mobile streaming. Bye bye, and I will see you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow.